Hi, today's video is actually requested by a viewer. I'm going to be showing off what a 3D print with letters and an etch looks like on leather. My name is Casey and this is Yeah Maker. Welcome to Yeah Maker. <laughs> All right, here are the two pieces that I did. This is just the old belt um, and then just a new piece of plastic I printed. The, I'm going to go over the 3D printed one first, just kind of give you the sizes and then we'll do an up close look at it. Um, I will be measuring in millimeters because I don't know about y'all, but when I do 3, 3D printing I almost always use millimeters, it's just easier for me for some reason. I'm weird like that. So as you can see we're zeroed out here, The letter and the letters that it isn't a copy of itself. I just used Fusion 360, um, made one and copied it, and then I just took one, raised it up three millimeters, three or five millimeters, and then took the other one and then sunk it down so that way it'd recess it. So the letters on these ones are a little bit smaller than what was requested, um, but we're at, as we can see here, 7.69, so almost 7.7 .7 millimeters. But let's go ahead and zoom in there and take a closer look. And so overall, it looks good. The raised letter letters actually, in my opinion, look very well. They're nice and clean. Um, I'm not like I'm not worried about these breaking off. Well, the Y actually just did, but that took quite a bit of effort. The recessed, um, and this might be due to using Lubon instead of using Fusion 360. I still have it downloaded the plugin or the basically the setup for the printer on Fusion or. Um, S3D. Um, so that might be why I'm seeing gaps in the letters like up here on the top of the K. Like I can see a gap like right here. There's a gap on the A right there. Yeah, you can kind of see it like right there. There's the one on the K. But, I mean, it doesn't look bad. You could use this for, like, making a stamp or something. Or for, if you want to do, like, in push and soap or something like that. I think it would actually work quite well. And then here's the leather. These ones. Bring this back in. Sorry for the uh, reflection on the lights. Um, so the top row, all of them should be... You know, nine actually should be right about if I go right to the outside it's ten almost ten min millimeters. So and again this is an old belt that I used. Um I don't it's got leather and some kind of coating that might be leather, it might be pleather or something. Um but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a leather belt. But that, I mean, to me, I like it. I might do a wallet I have that I haven't used yet that's getting about time to use. Um, this one was supposed to be the whole thing, and then this one was supposed to be the outline. Um, but it just did the outline on all of them because I had everything as one image. And I did made I created the image in um, Inkscape, and then I have found out that you can't use just the text font. You have to convert that to lines. Uh, I want to say it was Shift Control C with, with the text selected, and then that converted, and I was able to use that inside of Lubon. Um, when I had just the text, and then saved that out to an SGV, SVG, it did not work. But this I am quite happy with. Um, 
it did have like the ash residue on it when it was done so it looked like it had burnt more than what it did but I just took a damp rag and just wiped it down real quick and it looked fine um, still get a little bit of you know residue on my fingers from it from it being burned so you're definitely gonna want to wash wash it but yeah it worked very well on leather um, at least for etching it not too much I probably think I had it on two passes I probably could have been fine with just one um, oops sorry Zoom back out a little bit there we go All right, so yeah, as you can see, it turned out quite well. The, um, the letters on the 3D print, I mean, I'm fine with them. I wouldn't probably normally have them raised as much as I did, and that's why it broke when I was pushing on it. Um, but I mean, it wasn't even enough that you could even see it. I just know it because I could feel it flexing more than what it should have. Um, but that worked out very well. The leather, though, I'm very, I like that worked very well. I used the camera to be able to line up the the text and everything on there and it was very accurate. Um, I have done another update to the firmware um, and had to recalibrate everything which is fine. Uh, let's see here what else. On um, the 3D printing just or here's some side notes uh, or here's some side notes. Um, one thing I've learned is on the 3D printing setup for the Z height off offset, instead of getting it down to where the, you can really feel the paper dragging, get it? So you just barely feel the paper dragging. Um, and then when you start printing, just watch that first layer the first t couple times and micro adjust it on the fly. Um, I've done a few more prints since then and I've gotten it down now where everything pops off the board just fine. I'm actually using my original board. I haven't used the second one yet and things are coming off without having adhesion issues or anything like that. So that's good. The laser, um, I haven't had any issues with it either. I've cut out letters, uh, like out of just the scrap cardboard for my daughter. I've cut quite a few of those. I um, just played around with etching on some other stuff and the camera I think is a very nice feature that they added makes it very easy to to etch onto whatever uh, so so if you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more content please give me a follow I would greatly appreciate it uh, thanks for stopping by and have a great day night morning whatever Bye.